Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. Here I am with another terrible Ubisoft adaptation of a game show, and this time it's Press Your Luck, probably the dumbest, entirely random chance-based game show I could possibly imagine from the 70s. I mean, there's not even a modern adaptation. If you were kind of a smart guy, you were the one who went home and watched Jeopardy, but if your IQ was on the lower end of the double digits, you were probably a Press Your Luck fan. I mean, the vast majority of the entertainment from this game comes out of, you know, hitting a button to stop a roulette wheel while screaming, BIG MONEY! BIG MONEY! over and over and over. So let's create a new character, and you can see that we've got exactly the same stable of 12 generic stereotypes that we've got in all the other Ubisoft game show games. Uh, every race, every ethnicity accurately represented here, but you know, I'm looking for a game show that actually represents the personalities that go on game shows. Where's the old lady bordering on dementia? Where's the desperate housewife that just wants a piece of Bob Barker's junk? And then of course you got the standard four attitudes of, I don't give a shit about pressing my luck, Oh, I'm bashful, oh, I'm so happy to be on this game show and I'm just here for the chicks. And as always, I'm just here for the chicks. Press your luck, it's like fishing with dynamite. And the first way the game makes you press your luck is if your name is longer than eight letters. For example, if your name is Alexander, too bad. You're just gonna be Alexandre Day today. But you know what, that's good enough to put in my birth name. Meet Mr. Jizztrap, so we're gonna play single player here. We don't need to go to party mode, because playing press your luck by yourself in your apartment, always a party anyway. Alright, so the game starts off by just asking us the most inane question. questions that I could possibly imagine. Singer Clay Aiken guest starred on what television show in 2005? Who gives a shit, but I buzzed in anyway just because I figure I can get a good one. Hmm, Clay Aiken? Clay Aiken, I'm not gonna be too offensive so here, but I'm pretty sure that dude went on a will and grace. This answer. If you know what I'm Let's saying. Disney Channel show response. Hannah Montana, what is the name of Hannah's brother? So what is I don't fucking know, Jake? Jake okay, Montana? That sounds like answer. a male porn star name, Let's that could be on the Disney the Channel. Jackson. His name is Jackson Montana? No, that kid is gonna be a stripper when he grows up. Answer. They're asking me questions about TV shows that have not been on the air for 20 years. I guess that's appropriate since Press Your Luck has not been on the air for 20 years. Only people actually okay, miss Cheers, I don't think anyone misses Press Your Luck. What? Freebird and Sweet Home Alabama, I'm pretty sure those were in Pulp Fiction, right guys? Obviously, it's Forrest Gump. So as usual, I've completely fucking dominated the computer just by using basic logic, even though I have no knowledge of the questions at all. Alright, so the computer is spinning right now, and your goal is to obtain as much money as possible without hitting any whammies. If you hit four whammies, you're done for. You're dead in the game show, which, I mean, is a parallel because you're dead inside if you're playing this already. Big money, no whammy, stop! Ah, oh, fuck! I had two instructions for you, number three. Big money, no whammies. You accomplished neither of those. A second whammy? Come on, cut me some slack. And what I like is how the guy at first is like, oh, but then he gets a little bit of a half smile on his face because those, you know, shitty, basically animated gifts are so worth the price of admission. How much weight did Renee Zellweger gain for her role in Bridget Jones? Uh, what is who gives a shit, Alex? Do you have an answer for uh, this? I'm, I'm guessing she probably gained 50 pounds? Now, is that put 50 pounds. You gave this answer. As always, we have... All in her vag. Okay, Please tell me that someone answer. is gonna say five pounds. She had a big lunch that day. What is the name of Ali's hamster on the TV show... Everybody Wait, come on! Who is the target audience for That's this game? Allie's hamster? Quickly on now. Everybody Loves Raymond? Let's go with Pumpernickel. Okay, this is your answer. Because Let's both hamsters and Pumpernickel are things that I love to eat. So even as I answer these questions correctly, I'm amassing more this spins, answer. which is good, but it also increases the chance that I'm going to get more whammies. It's the only game that actually rewards people who don't answer questions correctly and totally causes you to fuck yourself if you're really good at it. Saturday Night Sore Throat sounds like my mom's favorite album. Big money, big money, no whammies. Oh, come on! I want two palm trees! Awesome, where am I gonna put those, Rich Fields? I feel bad for Bart Simpson, he has not answered the question correctly and has not gotten a chance to spin at all yet. And still, he's probably gonna chalk this up as the greatest day of his life. You know, as much as I malign the people who like or go on these game shows, I'm the one sitting here playing the game for the internet. So what can I say? Thank God, I'm so excited to have won this 10,350 virtual dollars! What am I going to spend it on? Maybe I can buy like a virtual pair of shoes for myself or something. Okay, so give myself the sweet ass haircut. No sunglasses yet, no pants. Put on some sandals, of course, because, you know, even though I'm covered by a counter in front of me, it's nice to, uh, nice to look your best. Maria and Joseph are rabid sports fans. 
No, literally. They have rabies. That's the only thing that can make this more exciting. Where did George plan to transfer in the 2007 season of Green? What the fuck? Um, um, Mercy West. Let's hope it's good. Mercy West, coincidentally, my favorite R&B singer. All right, how do you feel about this one, Macy Gray? I am a goddamn god. Who played Ralph Mouth on Happy Days? I'm in my 20s. Come on, I don't even know who any of these people are. Big money, don't let me stop. Four hundred dollars. I could buy eight copies of the game. Give them out for Christmas. Oh fuck! This is a disaster. You could say I just got a double whammy, right, guys? <laughs> oh, I'm putting the gun in my mouth as we speak. Pretty sure Tom Cruise played a young stock car driver in the 1990 flick Valkyrie. Your answer, player one. Okay. Yep. Yep. You're right, player one. Minority Report. 1990 uh, about Tom Cruise as a young stock car driver. Good job, guys. Well, Jesus, I'm such a big Bon Jovi fan. I probably got this. I'm pretty sure it's Lost Highway. My favorite Bon Jovi album is Lost Virginity. Lost Street. Who are these mentally retarded people? Who let you out of the hospital? Again, all four questions right for me. Uh, if I had just not answered any of them. No one would have any spins, and I would automatically win. Instead, I put myself in a position of extreme danger, as I have 12 spins. I guess I could pass them. Uh, but I have to avoid getting two whammies or having the computer pass me in money. Anyway, let's just spin for a while. I wanted the computer to get a chance to actually spin, considering they haven't answered a single question right so far. I'm pretty sure over the last two games, the computer has answered one question right. Now, considering how many questions have we had, we've had 16 questions, two different participants. It has to be one of four possible answers. The odds of that happening are simply amazing. Man, the excitement is palpable in the air. Will she or won't she hit whammies and or money so that I can or cannot get virtual dollars to spend on absolutely nothing? Margaret dragged her friend Sandra to meet new people. Are you here to chat or win prizes? Do these girls want to fuck me? Oh, come on. Is the computer in this game actually programmed to get the wrong answer when you get the right one? I can't tell if that's a lazy or idiotic game design. Complete this U2 song title. Hold me, thrill me, kiss me. But fuck me. Oh, all night long. It must not be that then. Yeah, see? The computer will never pick the right answer. That is unbelievably retarded game design. Where's the challenge? Okay, so obviously an the answer has to be Mitch's son. Oh, come the fuck on. So I think I figured out the formula for this game. Next time I'm going to try to answer every question wrong and just see if I can win the game on the money that I accrue right here. What a dynamic audience behind us, right? Looks like they're watching a public execution. I want big bucks! Why'd you give me the trip? I wanted big bucks! Okay, here we go. Operation fail. Answer every question wrong and still win. Let's take a look at the first question. In what movie does New York cop John McClane arrive in Los Angeles on Christmas Eve? Mm, I'm pretty sure that's Jingle All the Way. Okay, now time to see if the computer will actually buck up and answer properly. Dragnet. So far, so good. Give us your answer, player two. Dragon, it. Two. Let's hope it's good. Oh, right where did you find these people that nice. don't know what Die Hard is? No we literally must be getting your contestants from a pool at the Let's mental hospital. The Unbelievable incompetence. No now that I've actually sussed out what the game designers were getting at, I'm Let's fucking angry. This is a ripoff. So now the computer has one spin with which to dethrone me. I think I have like $4,000 amassed right now. Yeah, $3,300. One entire spin. Alright, so basically, as long as she doesn't get $3,000, i am alright. $600, I win! So it turns out the best strategy when you're playing Press Your Luck is actually to be as dumb as possible. It's a show that rewards you for being an idiot. Jesus, looks like I'm playing against a picture of my mom in the 80s. Gwyneth Paltrow named her daughter born in 2000. Give us your answer. Yeah, Gwyneth, this is my daughter, Lime. Obviously, Apple. I guess okay, Apple's not any less answer. ridiculous. This is my what daughter, two, Pineapple. This, this is my answer. daughter, Starfruit. An this is my daughter, Avocado. Right I wonder how much the voice actors on this got paid. We need you to say three lines. Big bucks, no whammies, and stop. They probably got paid in a footlong from Subway. Oh, fuck. It's, it's a landmark game. 
Yep, when Jewel was a struggling artist, she lived in a bathroom. Just just in a bathroom, all the time. The correct one is her van. Player one gets three spins. But I mean, her van doubled as a bathroom, so... Oh my god, the audience is just clapping non-stop. There's nothing to clap for! We're not doing anything! So we're gonna do, I'm gonna hit space as fast as I can, and I'm pretty sure I will never hit a whammy. Allowing me to game the system and accrue massive amounts of virtual cash. Oh man, okay, my strategy does not work. But for a while it felt so good! Oh Jesus, it, oh I'm out! It all came crashing down so fast, less than 30 seconds ago I was in a great position. So that's a wrap on this week's episode of Poison Mushroom, Press Your Luck Edition. As always, if you liked the video, I appreciate thumbs up and or favorites, but whatever the case, I will see you next week. I've been your host, Northern Lion, and this has been Poison Mushroom. See you later. Big money, no whammy, stop! Ah, oh, fuck! I had two instructions for you, number three.